With Valentine's Day just around the corner, it is the perfect time to talk about dating trends for the year. So joining us now to share the latest and greatest is relationship expert with Bumble, Shan Boudram. Good morning, Shan. Good morning, Susan. Happy month of love. Yes, thank you so much, and you as well, too. So we need some help here. What are some of the top dating trends you are seeing this year? Okay, people who are starting the conversation with we need some help will love this trend because <laughs> you might be a little overwhelmed from trying new things and just trying periods. Bumble is branding this year as the year of self and that in essence means approaching dating with a sense of worthiness for who you are today and also doing away with the traditional expectations so that is being seen through something that's called the timeline decline people saying no to the idea that you have to be married by age 30 or have kids or a house or this or that instead it's like the year of self what works best for you you know leaning into feeling versus having and then seeing what the other details are from there in addition, we're seeing something that's called generational blend. More women, two-thirds in specificity, are open to dating younger. And then that also speaks to betterment burnout, where again, people are like, okay, I've optimized, I've worked out, I've done yoga, I've done all the wellness things. Now, I just want to work on feeling great about who I am today. And I want to approach dating that same way. I want to embrace people for who they are as well. That is a great way to look at it. Uh, I think because for years, we all have put all these... Um guidelines on uh, and these unrealistic expectations on dating and uh, I like to just kind of toss that out to the side. So what advice do you have for those oh, still beautiful. looking for their special someone that are trying to navigate Valentine's Day this year? Well, lean into the season and look a little harder right now. We actually see um, peaks and spikes in usages between New Year's Eve and Valentine's Day. So now is the perfect time to be looking more intentionally. In addition, you can use Mondays from 7 to 8 p.m. as a time that you really want to lean in and swipe because again, that's where we see peak users online really interacting with the platform. And look, Valentine's Day can be a scary day for people who are one, extremely single or two, single and having some budding romantic relationships. You know, how do we have the conversation around this day? Do we celebrate it? Do we not? Valentiming is something that we're calling the perfect time to actually start having the conversations around the relationship and defining it is Valentine's Day. And it can be very casual. It doesn't have to be extremely heavy. It's something as simple as do you celebrate the holiday and what are your plans this year? And then from there, you can start to have more intentional conversations around where you stand and how you want the day to reflect that. Oh, okay. Any other good tips and advice uh, that you want to share to help people out there get the most out of dating? Absolutely. I love that question. Yes, get the most out of dating. Why not? Enjoy the experience. Have fun doing it and optimize it if you possibly can. There's so many amazing people out there and sorting through all of them can feel tedious, um, but you want it to be a joyful experience in order to do that. Bumble has these new features that I really love. One is compliments. This just brings that everyday experience of making connections into the online experience because we know in real life, things don't always start with, I like you, do you like me? They start off with, <laughs> oh, I really like your necklace. Where'd you get that from? Oh, are you a New York Knicks fan? So am I. So compliments are ways for people to start conversations with people, even if they haven't matched yet. You can say one kind thing to somebody and kindness is king and key, especially in 2024. There's recommend to a friend, which allows you to see a profile and say, you know what? I have a best friend who I know this person will be perfect for, and you can send that profile right on over, giving that community feel, again, making it more in line with what we experience in real life, because oftentimes people meet through a mutual friend who thinks you'd be really great um, for someone uh -huh. that I know. And the last trend that I will say, or feature I will say that's really great, is advanced filters. For a very long time, you could only search based on location and a couple other details. Now you can search based on zodiac sign and that's very important to you. So again, making the experience more enjoyable, more easy and more connective for you is something that Bumble is really, really focused on. Mm -hmm. Those are great tips, whether online or in person, a compliment that really makes anybody's day and gets conversations going. So Shan, thanks so much for sharing these with that's us this my morning. Secret weapon. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, the compliments also go kind of go back to, you know, spread some kindness, whether it's you're trying to meet somebody new or just 
be, you know, friendly to your coworkers. A compliment is always nice. Well, look, and I feel like in today's world of social media, dating yeah. is harder than ever. So. Oh yeah, that wasn't even around no. when I started dating. Yeah. You know, it's not an easy challenge nowadays, but. Yeah. Just you know, but she oh, gave well. a lot of good tips there, <laughs> and try to you know. You never know who you might meet uh, at the right time, the right place there. Somewhere, there. There's somebody out there for everybody, right? That's right. You just got to find them. And even after you've been married, I've been married almost 30 years now, you still need to set time aside to go on that dates. That is important. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, still ahead.